thing, and listen to him. Post prep class post test on Wednesday, so I cannot exactly do the thing. So, but I would like a favorite from you guys. I see that have 13 followers or subscribers. Sorry, people on Tumblr. Boy. Maybe it's a boy, maybe it's a girl. I don't know. Anyone? This is a YouTube commenter. Um. Hmm. And I'm so not going to put his name in the description below, so don't even try to look in the description below to see if you can find both his channel and the posts that I'm dealing him with the video where it's posted on. And I'm also not going to tell you if you do, if you go to the video with the post and the newest first thing instead of this whole thing with, uh, in this whole bullshit in April 8th, so you probably want to go down to three weeks ago. And the one you see that's over 60, has over 60 replays. Not the one you want. But anyway. Anyway, he's been just he has no argument. His argument is saying, wow, you said a thing and your thing is wrong. I don't know. So I just I beg of you. Oh, it's a feminist thing. So if you're a feminist, or, well, a feminist is someone who cares about girls' rights and things like that, please, please, please help me. And just agree with Catherine George and Beth Hanscom, who's my mother. Pretty much, he, she, my mother was fighting with, with him, and he was stupid, and I was like, wow, he's acting like a 12-year-old. And if you're on Tumblr, you probably know, find, find the 12 year old, which is a fun game. Also fun to read in. I like, I'm okay with 12 year olds and vegans, although I do know that like my worst times when I was 12, like I think back when I was 12, it's like, <sighs> anyway, and I wasn't that bad, that's the thing. I wasn't that bad. And I was bad. So. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, and I don't care if you can If you want... Okay, one. I get it. Being a vegan is probably really hard because my dad's girlfriend is a vegetarian. And, like, she doesn't get a lot of protein. Because of that, so she has to constantly keep eating. And it's really hard because, like, she doesn't like all vegetables, like, she doesn't like mushrooms, and, like, that must be hard to do. Anyway. It's, like, and a lot of things, the mushrooms, and there's other things she doesn't like, like, I think she doesn't like onions, which, like, Avery's friggin' salad has onions, and, like, it's hard to be a vegetarian. Like, imagine, like, I can only imagine how hard it can be to be vegan, like, to get stuff, like, if you don't like something that's in your vegan thing, like, I don't want to, it's going to suck. What I don't like are the people who go, you're a horrible person because you eat meat. And then that's what I'm to pull over the plate with less meat. She just doesn't want to. And that's cool. Um, and like, I get it that you don't want to eat meat, but just like, humans are omnivores. That's what we are, that's what we've always been. And fuck you if you feed your cat or dog or carnivore vegan food. That is just, you are killing your animal. Anyway, back to this person. No, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say who his, what his name is, but I'm, and also I'm not gonna do in, in the description. <sighs> I was like, I'm supposed to find one at night anyway. Anyway, it's just really annoying. It would be 
appreciate it. You guys could help me except you not help me because you won't have anything to go by not in the description or what the hell, not in a box right here. I'll move my light switch. Because you're not. I missed, I haven't watched an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! or GX since I stopped doing this. Like, I miss Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, I miss the commentary. <laughs> oh god. This is, this is too much, but you just decided to just talk! I don't know, I think part of the, what I hate is like, I think part of the reason, like, I don't have my 15, I, don't have my non-minute anymore. It's because of the plagiarizing thing that I did. But I hate it because I said, okay, I agree to it. I'll put it down. I'll take it down. And then we can all just put this behind us. And it's like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so annoying. Like, when I go to it, upload. Upload various videos in various formats up to 15 minutes. Increase them and they're not available for this account. I click on it. Wait. It just it sends me back. It's up? The fuck? That's what you get for not looking at shit, Catherine. Also, trivia. This guy is going so cool. It's up. I did not know that. Oh my god. Well, now it's letting me do the 15 minute. I just know how complicated it's gonna be if I do like one episode and another episode for like a half or ten minutes. Because I just know I will lose track of time and I'll go fuck that like that six minutes. I hope computer it's all over again. And it's never as good when I do it all over again because I don't see the same shit. Or like if I don't like there's a lot of episodes where I see it for the first time. And if I watch it again, I don't it's not as Ah it's not as surprising, like sometimes I'll force myself and I'm just like, ha, yeah, they can totally tell you're acting, I can tell you're acting, so. I did not film a video though. You guys should have told me. The one problem with having small subscribers is that I don't have like 50 million people going like, no, it's fine, you're fine, everything's great. Which, I love you 13 subscribers, I do, it's just everyone else. And once everyone else subscribes, they'll be awesome. It's just how the game is going to be. Whatever. <sighs> so, who knows? Anyway. I hear that he keeps using insulting names. I also love how Catherine. Oh, I said I love how Beth Hanskin is making some actual scientific points. Scientific, but whatever points. Wow. 
not going to say his name on video, is just saying, well, you're a thing that is negative. I also love how Captain, and this is his response for there as well. I also love how Captain Moore actually thinks that that hand job is making scientific points, and there's absolutely nothing scientific about it. When what Lucy is saying in her place, it's very entertaining, though. Please keep going. I love how Blank thinks calling me a whore is going to upset me. I love how you mention it regardless of size. Mentioned what exactly that I'm a whore? That's two times. Now keep it up. It's hilarious. I think he thinks I'm calling myself a whore. Which? One, I'm a virgin. Two, I don't give a fuck. Three, I don't make money for that kind of thing. Well, this is my fact that I'm a virgin. Anyway, and it's just things like that. He thinks he's, they think they're so fucking brilliant, and I'm just like. <laughs> anyway, he's getting on my nerves. Um, YouTube's getting on my nerves. And I feel like it's good now. I actually, I was sick on Friday. It was nice. Like, it's sort of no. Mostly it was my brain. This is awesome. This is why I am doing this for my mom. Um, she let me stay home because I'm having problems with my friends and I'm getting stressed over homework and like, because I was mentally sick, not because I was physically sick. But, like, I don't know, there's a Tumblr post that says, like, it sucks that you can't stay home just because, like, you physically, just because you're not physically ill, then you're not mentally ill. And mentally ill can make you physically ill. Like, physical stuff can fuck you mentally, and mental stuff can fuck you physically. I have had both. Like, if someone punches you, that could be, like, you will probably dislike that person, and you will probably feel or that you might be a coward, or you might be angry more often, things like that, because why the hell did they punch me? But if, like, I've had times when, one, suicidal tendencies, that's how you know mental can cause physical things, because you're fucked up in your head, and it may not be your fault, just because it is fucked up, you're trying to kill yourself, which is physical. And there's also things like there are mental diseases, like mental diseases are actually like scientifically noticeable. No idea how oh, I was talking about that. Anyway, but like there's a Tumblr post that says parents can't let you stay home, and it sucks. And your mom did. It was actually a time a few weeks ago where things turned and I was like, I don't want to deal with this. I haven't been sick all school year, which is true. Like, this is a record for me. April. The end of April. And I haven't been sick yet. Well, I got sick, but I made it to the end of April. That is like a record for me. Like, for the past few years, because I've been so mentally thing and insane, like, I feel like I'm way to school, like, once a month. Like, I give myself, like, okay, Catherine, you can either say, like, you're sick every single day and never have to go to school, or you can, like, limit yourself so you don't miss too much. But, like, you can still get. But, I can You can still get, like, a day. So I would, like, be, like, so I would limit myself, like, one, one day a month. That's what you get. So now, I can be sick for, like, a week. <laughs> And, like, if I be sick from her one day, like, when my grandma died at the end of 2012, yeah, 2012, I left in the middle of Tuesday and just didn't go to school until next Monday. I just, well, one, her funeral was on Friday. It was on that Friday. And 
my dad actually said that I could stay home. Another thing, another mental thing where I could stay home, like he understood that he stayed home from work, I stayed home from school that week. It was just like, I probably would have been okay. But, uh, so. <laughs> Later, guys.